audience, greetings. Today's topic is really important to determine as to what are they who left the religion of Islam and follow the Quran. Ever since the statement of the Quran has been highlighted on YouTube, in the light of Quranic verses that the followers of religion of Islam are not Muslims, there is an uproar among religious circles and among those who teach the false translations and fake interpretations of the Quran. These people cannot give any answer in technical terms and in terms of Arabic language, and they cannot deny this from the rules of linguistics, but they have been doing their duty to protect their religious heretics. While claiming the duty to protect their religious belief, they are discussing inverted directness and of the topic, absurd things, with lame excuses to protect the teaching of their religion. Baseless things are being caught and debated. For example, someone is expressing his anger by saying, why did I say take care of yourselves before saying goodbye at the end of a YouTube lecture? He suggested, I should have said, take care of everyone. Someone says, you haven't interpreted Rijal. Someone says, you didn't tell about Nisa, woman. Someone says that there's a deficiency in my explanation of Kawamun on the basis of their religious belief and in view. But they have heard from their religious scholars. Someone says, don't the man call strong and the woman weak. Someone says, write down what you have described in the YouTube video and send it over. Someone sends the conventional translations of Quranic verses and says that you have not translated the word Muslim coming in the Quran. Someone says that the word Muslimun coming in verses 132 and 133 of Surah Al-Baqarah and 52 and 64 of Surah Al-Imran is not the plural of Muslim. And someone says that the phrase Ummah the Muslima appearing in the Quran doesn't mean the Muslim nation. These people actually do not want to hear anything against their false beliefs. And they do not want to understand the Quran. Otherwise, everything has been told in the same YouTube video. They are the same people who call themselves the Muslim Ummah in everyday language. The Muslim Ummah is read in newspapers and magazines and seen and heard on radio and television every day. But when the same phrase Ummah al-Muslimah of Arabic language is used by the Quran in verse 128 of Surah Al-Baqarah, Rabbana wajalna muslimayn laka wa min zurriyatina Ummah al-Muslimah, then these hypocrites translate the same Quranic phrase Ummah al-Muslimah in the meaning of making us surrender, submissive, submissive, and submitters of certain type of community or of certain group. Why? Is there any harm in translating the Quranic phrase Ummah the Muslimah as the Ummah of Muslims or the Muslim nation? The problem is that if this Quranic verse 128 of Surah Al-Baqarah and this phrase Ummah the Muslimah of the Quran are translated correctly, then they will not be able to call themselves Muslims on the basis of the Quran because the Quran is talking about Muslim nation in its phrase Ummah the Muslimah for people long before the religion of Islam and then. It is also their hypocrisy that in order to hide the plural noun Muslimun for Muslims in the Quran, they translate it submissive, bearer of orders and submitters, etc. But to call themselves Muslims, they do not translate the noun Muslim for themselves. According to the rules of linguistics, adjectives are translated, but nouns are not translated. Applying the same rules which they use in the translations of the Quran, they shouldn't call themselves Muslims, but submissive, command bearer or submitters. They do not translate the word Muslim that they use to introduce themselves, but they translate the plural of same noun that appears in the Quran. In fact, they have defamed Muslims by stealing the name of Muslim from the Quran. And they have made Muslims laugh because people consider that the followers of religion of Islam, like they are, are Muslims. But they don't know that according to the Quran, the followers of religion of Islam or any religion are not Muslims. Nowadays, many people are suffering from the hesitation that they've rejected the religion and left Islam because of injustice, misinterpretation and corruption in the name of religion. But they have a firm belief in an entity or force that keeps the universe moving, that keeps the universe running. Who is the Lord of the words in the Quran? Who is the mother and the father of the universe? Who is the mother and the father of everything? Who is the most merciful and one who is the creator and owner of everything. They believe in this, but these people are confused and worried about what name they should give to themselves after leaving the religion of Islam. If these people call themselves atheists, they are considered without religion 
Ladin and religious fundamentalists start calling them apostates and infidels when the religion of Al Masjid al Haram had its bloody teeth on the veins of humanity and kept everyone in its religious torture. In this era, those who brought the message of the Quran and separated from the religion of Al Masjid al Haram and preached the Quran, they started to be called Sabi. It seems the history is witness that Prophet and his companions were called Sabi, meaning without religion. Ladin, they used to call them Ladin, without religion, atheist, non religious. But the Quran calls such people Muslims. But the Quran calls such people Muslims. Therefore, those who are confused, hesitating, worrying about what to call themselves after leaving the religion of Islam, then this is good news for them that the Quran calls them Muslims. These people should call themselves Muslims because, in the eyes of the Quran, these people are Muslims. These people are Muslims according to the Quran. As Muslims are not followers of any religion. As Muslims are not supposed to follow any religion. By the way, many people keep writing to me since publication of my YouTube video titled as the followers of religion of Islam are not Muslim. Along with so many other comments, someone also sent me this comment which was probably written by someone in the comment section of the said YouTube. Now I read this comment for you in its own words which say, great work. I'm not really Muslim anymore. And don't think Islam is the right religion for me, as I find it is too law-based and dogma-based. Too much focus on punishment and rules, which really hinders spiritual growth of an individual. Also, it is very woman-unfriendly. It's a religion where only the man benefits, but you're doing a great job. I feel very happy where I am in life and following my own spiritual journey, which feels right for me. In the said comments, spiritual journey is mentioned which in our perception, in our common understanding, and in the light of our prevailing knowledge and in our belief, it appears to be a practice of religion, practice of religious meditation, supernatural, godly type or religious type of things, and to be something like spiritual healing, meditation, or some kind of spiritual tricky things. But spiritual journey actually is a journey of the development of our soul, which is an evolutionary journey of our soul in which our mind, our intellect, and our consciousness continue to develop that is what the Quran wants us to continue to develop ourselves spiritually. But religion has made us still stand in one place. And standing in one place is defined as Jahannam. Hell! That is hell. Therefore, the search for great moral values is said to be journey towards the destination of spiritual development, which is a journey towards the importance and maturity of person's belief and faith. That is a search for a great moral significance called spiritual journey, which is a journey towards the path of the importance of one's belief and faith. Furthermore, saying in the comments that I'm not a Muslim anymore because of the same reasons such as misinformations, lies, misrepresentations and misinterpretations, etc. However, the followers of religion of Islam have spread all over the world that they are Muslims, due to which People think that after leaving the religion of Islam, they are no longer Muslims. While, according to the Quran, the Muslims have nothing to do with Islam or any other religion. The rest of the reasons given in the comments for hating the religion of Islam is the emphasis on strict Sharia law and punishment. There's a lot of truth in this matter. For example, the religion of Islam talks about cutting off the thief's hands, while the Quran urges us to cut off means, source and support of thieves. In the same way, there is no mention of brutal punishment, of stoning in the Quran. But the religion of Islam, following the religions of dark ages, gives the punishment of stoning to death of living people, which was seen in ancient Jewish sect. Similarly, the punishment for drinking alcohol is not in the Quran. But the Sharia laws of religion of Islam give punishment for possessing and consuming alcohol. Whereas alcohol is an Arabic word which was already known in Arabic culture, especially in the time of Cleopatra of ancient Egypt, well before the revelation of the Quran. It is also true to call the religion of Islam anti-woman or to have an unfriendly attitude towards woman. And injustice is also seen in Islam. However, the Quran doesn't allow any difference between men and women and sees men and women as equals. But in the religion of Islam, women are not only considered inferior to men and subordinate to men, but women are also given less share in the property and in their inheritance. And then how is it justice that the followers of religion of Islam and those who born to them go to heaven, Jannah, and those 
who do not follow the religion of Islam and those who born to them go to hell. Jannam. Seeing these injustices and fundamentalisms, many people leave the religion of Islam as it contradicts the laws of nature and is against the humanity. These people start calling themselves non-Muslims or consider them as non-Muslim. Such people are not non-Muslims. Such people are not non-Muslims, but they are true Muslims. They are true Muslim. They are true Muslims. I always declare myself non-religious in the columns of religion while filling the forms. But I call myself a true Muslim. But I call myself a true Muslim. Why should I go? Why should I go against the Quran and take a box of religion with my name? Or why should I confess that I'm a follower of a religion against the teaching of the Quran? However, if someone asks, I call myself a Muslim. And when it comes in writing, I swear I'm Muslim. I'm a true Muslim. I'm a Muslim. I'm a true Muslim. Why should I call myself a religious person or follower of a religion if Quran doesn't allow us to follow any religion? I hope that it has been clarified further that in the light of the Quran, the followers of religion of Islam are not Muslims. And the Quran refers to Muslims only those who follow the commandments of God alone. Thanks so much. Take care of yourselves and everyone. Bye-bye.